Hi, and welcome to another video demonstration. Um, in this video demonstration, we're going to go through the SOA platform examples. So very quickly, I'm just going to show you how to start up the SOA platform, which is very easy to do. Um, then I'm going to show you how to uh, configure the quick start examples. Again, another pretty easy to do task. Um, and then uh, execute a couple examples and see them deployed and then we'll we'll just see how that goes. Uh, so it shouldn't take too long, but for those of you who are just getting started with JBoss, um, hopefully it'll give you kind of a visual of what you need to do and, and make it even easier uh, for you to do it. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. So we're going to start off first, uh, of course, by starting off the SOA platform. In order for you to do that, you're first going to need to uh, install it. I've installed all of my software to a JBoss directory. So you'll see here there is a directory called SOA. And inside of that um, service-oriented architecture platform that we provide uh, at JBoss, inside of that is the application server uh, installation directory. And then inside of there, we'll see the JBoss SOA. And what I want to do is just kind of show you the, these directory structures. So there's the application server, there's JBPM, REST, Easy, and SIEM, depending on the types of applications and resources you want to deploy to your um, SOA platform. So we're going to take a look at, of course, the application server first, um, because that is where the bin directory is and where our run script is to start up the server. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. While that's starting up, usually I like to keep an eye on the terminal in case anything interesting happens in the form of stack traces. Um, this should start up just fine. While that's happening, I want to go ahead and configure the uh, examples. So I'm going to CD over to the SOA platform. And then with that SOA platform, I am going to then CD into the JBoss component and then take a look at, in this case, rather than starting up my server, I'm going to go into the SIEM examples and take a look at that. Now inside of here, you'll notice there is a build.properties file. So we're going to want to open that up. Now for ease of use, I'm going to use a tool to do that. Um, but you'll notice here we have a build.properties file in this directory, in the SIEM directory inside the directory structure that I had mentioned to you. And now what we're going to do is go in and change the JBoss home to actually point to our home. Now be really careful with this because if you don't get this directory structure correct, it will actually create this directory structure for you. So if you accidentally misspell something or, for example, when I first did this, I think I, um, I didn't fully qualify it, so it put the directory structure right at the root of my uh, um, hard drive. So anyway... Keep that in mind. You want to be pretty careful with where you put this, but you want it to point directly to your application server. Once that's done, you can save it, and then we can go in uh, and take a look at the examples. So I'm going to CD over to the examples directory um, and look in there, and we're going to go ahead and launch the booking example. So I'm going to CD into booking, and you'll see here there actually is an ant script here. So what I'm going to do is ant explode. Now if you want these instructions written down so you can print them off and follow them, they're found in that readme text file. So you could do that. So it's going to use the build.xml. Um, one of the things that this does not do is it doesn't really give you kind of a hand-holding through some of these demonstrations. Um, so what it does instead is just give you the ability to run a script, see it deployed. As you see, it's deploying those resources to the SOA platform right now. We can see the server reacting. And then we can go into a console and kind of see an application that utilizes certain technologies, in this case a SIEM application. So let's go ahead and do that now. You'll notice the build was successful, the deployment was successful, um, and now we're going to uh, launch Firefox and take a look at localhost 8080 and then we're going to use seam dash so whatever uh, quick start you use you'll use the word seam dash whatever the name of the quick start was so in this case the quick start name was booking so it'll take a minute um, again we can keep an eye on this in the terminal screen just so we uh, can make sure that everything is working successfully, it'll let us know, right, in the form of 
messages uh, in the console. If that is not the case, everything seemed to go well. And you see now we are in the booking example. This is a hotel application for the SIEM framework. So now that you've seen um, the hotel's booking demo, I would recommend, you know, going through a couple use cases, booking a couple hotels, um, taking a look at a couple different components. Uh, usually, it, you know, it's a matter of just kind of walking through the different things you can do in the application and seeing how Seam reacts to it. In a later video, we'll probably come back and take a deep dive into what this um, example is trying to demonstrate. But for right now, I just wanted you to get the, the demos going. So let's go ahead and maybe try another one. These are all the quick starts that you can use. So what we're going to do is, uh, again, why don't we take a look at another one like the DVD store. So what I could do is CD into the DVD store. Oops. And then again, launch Ant Explode. And the goal of this, or the, the important part of this, is that as soon as I do this, what's going to happen is it's going to um, build that demo and then deploy it to the directory I gave it. So you'll see it'll go through compiling the resources, creating the directory structure for it to store these resources upon deployment. And then once that's done, it'll tell me the build was successful, and you'll see that deployment occur here, right? So you'll see all those deployment resources happening, uh, the context being built for that application. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new browser. Oops. And uh, 8080 is our port that we are deployed on. It says everything has been deployed. So now I can type in seam-dvd store. And now I have the ability to test this out. Now, one thing that we are going to work on um, potentially is maybe creating uh, a JBDS project pulling in the example, maybe making some customizations to it and deploying those changes. In this video, I just wanted to get you started. So hopefully you found it useful. Um, play around with the samples, get them going, uh, and then we can move into pulling them into the Dev Studio and creating maybe a reference architecture specific to some of your use cases. So anyway, hope you liked it. Um, email me with any questions, comments, um, recommendations for other demos. They're going to get a little bit more complicated moving forward, but I wanted to get a few of them up that were pretty simple. So um, hope you liked it. Bye.